Hi everyone, welcome to the part 2 of VXLAN configuration with eBGP and ECMP. In part 1 video, we have configured the underlay network with BGP and ECMP. There, uh, we have verified the connectivity between all these spines and leaves, and we have assigned the IP for loopback 1 in all the leaf switches which is which we are going to use as uh, uh, VTAP IPs and in this video uh, we will be connecting two pieces into these two switches and uh, we will assign both to same VNI and we will try to reach each other and both will be able to reach each other same as L2 communication and uh, since everything is L3 in underlay there won't be any spanning tree or looping okay so we'll verify that uh, now we don't have to configure anything in spine one so all the configuration we are going to do only in leaf switches so i'll go to leaf one uh, here the pc this 31.1 is going to be in 83 of leaf 1 so uh, we will be creating a VLAN for that VLAN 31 now in the face 83 we will assign to the, that VLAN then we'll be configuring VXLAN the command is interface VXLAN 1 VXLAN source interface low back 1 which we have configured in the previous video and uh, then VNI we need to define VXLAN VLAN 31 VNI, VNI is going to be double three double one. Okay. Now uh, we are not going to use any multicast or any uh, any other protocol for uh, uh, the VTAP communication. We will be directly using the peer IP here. So we are trying to achieve VXLAN using minimal amount of configuration here. So. command is vxlan The command is going to be the VXLAN flood meter and IPs of both the leaf switches is going to be one or two dot three dot okay then no shit okay now we'll configure the leaves to switch VLAN 31 interface E3 Land one 
excellent so syndrome case go back one vx land vlan 31 vni 3311 and uh, vx land land heat so the other two switches Now we'll assign the IP for uh, these two pieces. We'll try pinging each other. Yeah, this is reachable. Okay, so now the VXLAN is up, and uh, this layer 2 traffic is passing through layer 3, and it is passing through our underlay network BGP. And if any changes happens in the underlay network, it won't impact our overlay since we have high availability configured here okay similar way we will configure one more vlan for these pieces and uh, then uh, we will configure these two as underlay vlan and uh, in the next video uh, we will enable the inter vxlan routing and how to enable communication between the underlay and overlay okay so I'll configure uh, the VLAN 41 as well. Okay. VLAN 41. Interface. A4. Switch port. Mode access. Switch port access. Interface VXLAN one, then uh, VXLAN VXLAN VLAN forty one VNI double four double one. Four is assigned to VXLAN here as well. Okay. 
let's switch on these pieces So now we have two VNIs, VNI double three double one and the VNI double four double one, and two PCs are there, and they are able to communicate to each other. So in the next video, uh, we'll be even configuring an underlay VLAN with two PCs and uh, overlay two VNIs. We'll just check the connectivity, how these two can communicate to each other, and how the overlay will communicate to underlay. Okay, uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.